Alright, welcome back to my next Touch Designer tutorial. And in this one I'm gonna explain and show you why to use nulls um, with free examples. So I'm gonna get like dive right in using a an LFO chop. Um, and with this channel in there, so I'm just gonna call this size, I want to change the size of some circle tops. So I'm gonna drop a circle I find it a uh, circle top in here and just copy paste that a couple of times and um, I've got six circles here which is fantastic and then I'm gonna um, select all of them make this viewer active and drag this on here and now you can see um, I'm using this channel to change the radius on here so um, all good, but uh, you can see it, it goes, since it's a sine wave, it's gonna go, like it goes into minus, and this does make a lot of sense for this size, circ uh, like the circle size. So now I want to map this using a map. So I attach a map here and say, uh, instead of zero to one, minus one to one, and then like to point three, and select all of these again, and drag this on here. And I can see, oh cool, this this works well. And now let's say for some reason I want to filter this to make uh, like to smooth out the, the signal a bit. So now I'm gonna select all of these again, make this view active and drag this on the radius H up reference. And I can see it uses this filtered channel. Alright, so there's there might be more stuff I wanna do with this channel. So um I every time I create a new operator I have to remap or like re drag this onto um, onto here um, so that's not a very nice thing to do especially uh, like in some projects you might have uh, many uh, operators that you use one signal with so for example a, a general time sig signal or like a timeline signal or like a media control signal who knows or channel. So um, I'm gonna delete these again and now to the LFO I'm going to um, attach a null job and select all of these again and now just once drag this on here say job reference and there we go. Alright so now we haven't actually gained anything but now if I see oh I actually want to remap this I'm going to just insert an operator here, the math operator, and then change it just like I did before. And then you can see it automatically used the channel and like the, the null channel. And now I didn't have to remap again. Now I can also drop the filter in here and whatever else, like as many operators as I want, I can just um, put here in front of the null and I don't have to remap ever again. So that is pretty great. And that's the first example that I wanted to show you. So it really makes a lot of sense to use the null there. So the second, um, the second example I wanted to show you is using um, materials. So um, I'm gonna drop a noise top in here make this colorful and pretty and uh, something like this. So now I'm gonna uh, not attach anything here but use a Fong material and a geo and I'm actually gonna render this just to show you. So um, I wanna use this Fong here on the geo so I can actually just drag this on here and say power material and then I can drag this on here and say Parm color map. So this works pretty well. This is now mapped under it. Like it doesn't look pretty now. That, that, that's not something we care, care about at the second, uh, at the moment. <laughs> um, now let's let's see. And I want to maybe use a transform in this to uh, do something, rotate this. And um, then I might want to uh, yeah, then I then I drag this on here again. Say color map, 
And now I might wanna um, blur this. So I, I blur this and drag it on there again, say Parm color map, and I guess you can already kind of see where this is going. Um, it would be a lot easier if I, from the beginning, used a null. Just drag the null on there once, say Parm color map, and now I can drop whatever I want to drop in here. All right. So you can also see um, that that makes sense. Uh, for the material, I usually don't really use nulls because uh, as you can see here, there's not much you can actually connect it to. So I guess it would be, it, like it wouldn't be actually, like it, I never use a null on the material because you're not connecting anything there anyways. All right, so that's that. Mm, now the last uh, null I'm going to show you is a bit different. And that's the uh, null comp. I'm gonna just drop that in there and use a camera in here. So now it's using uh, this as a reference. And um, on the camera now, let's say I want to always look at the center, which is actually what's gonna happen if I drag around like this. But if I change the X now, I'm going to move the camera away from the, the object. Now I can use this null in here and drag it on the look at. And um, now the camera is always going to well look at this um, kind of, it's like, it's not something that's being rendered. It's just like a reference point where, uh, where the camera can look at. So now we can, um, I could uh, change either like the camera, move this up or down, and it's always going to look at that point. Or I could also use the uh, change the null position, and then that's going to change uh, like where the camera camera looks at. So now the null is somewhere there, and the camera is going to look there. All right. So there's uh, different uses of nulls. So that's a bit special one, but um. Yeah, it's 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 always like nulls are generally just kind of empty operators. You could say they they don't change anything about the signal uh, or like about the input they get. They 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 are basically placeholders for and and they really change the workflow. Like uh, especially in these cases here, uh, I guess this is the most used case. Um, it just really makes sense to to use nulls. Um, one last little thing I can just show you, even though I've never used it, is that nulls are also, like null chops especially, are also capable of um, uh, s turning off the cooking. So if you, for some reason, in your chain don't want to cook a certain part, uh, or whatever comes after here, so if I put another math here, um, and turn this off, then everything af afterwards is not going to be cooked. I've never used that, but there might be. There's there's definitely use cases for that. All right. Uh, as always, thank you for watching, and I see you on the next one.